Welcome to Shape by Faith, where we shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. I hope you enjoy the Pilates for the Soul mat workout with healing scriptures. These exercises and scriptures will help strengthen your spirit, mind, and body. Let's get started. Go ahead and find neutral position down on the floor, navel to the spine. We're gonna start with our legs straight up today. Heels together and just make some small circles. Just go in one direction. And let's work on our deep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Let's go the opposite direction. Oh Lord, my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. Isn't that a great word? God heals us as we call to him for help. All right, the next exercise, place your feet down. Stay in neutral spine. And we're gonna go up in a bridge position. Take a deep inhale, roll up through the spine, each vertebrae at a time, shoulders down, and then roll back down. So we're working through the spine and the back. Your promises revive me, O Lord, and they comfort me in all of my troubles. You should be feeling this through your hips and your glutes. This bridge is so healing for the back and for the spine. Just remember, keep your navel to your spine and breathe from your diaphragm. Reach through your fingertips and lift up and lower back down. The promises of God revive us. They bring life to our body. They bring good health to our body. Keep moving. You should feel this in the top of your legs, your quadricep muscles, and in the back of the legs. This time, let's come all the way up. Now, if this bothers your spine, I need you to come all the way back down, okay? This is a march. So you're gonna pick up one foot at a time and bring that leg in towards you. Just a basic march. My words bring life to those who find them and healing to the entire body. So as we read the Word of God, we take it in, we bring it in our hearts, we memorize it, we meditate on it, and then God brings us life through it. You can't help but get healthier as you read the Word of God. All right, keep going. Again, if you need to modify this, go all the way down, rest that spine, and keep moving those legs. You're doing fantastic. Just go at your level and your own pace. If you need to rest, just lie down and rest. Let's do this one more time. Roll all the way back down. This next exercise, you're gonna bring one knee in, one leg out. You're gonna lift up and then extend the leg and then pulse for two and then switch, pulse for two. The Holy Spirit is the one who gives life, the Holy Spirit. So we welcome the Holy Spirit into our lives, to our homes, our workplace, our vehicles, our social life, whatever we're doing. Holy Spirit, have your way with us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your Holy Spirit. Keep moving through this. And again, that breathing is real important. Keeping those legs straight, as straight as we can on this one. And one more. And then draw both knees in and come on down to the mat. This next exercise is a roll up. And I'm gonna show you the modifications. Arm way over the head, curl up and hold, and then lower back down. Okay, here's a progression. Heels together, pull the belly in. Inhale, roll up. Each vertebrae at a time. Exhale over the legs. And then take your time going down. Here's the real core work right here. If you remain in me, right? If we remain in Christ and in my words, the word says, whatever you ask, whatever you ask, it will be given to you. As you delight in the Lord, and that he gives you his desires, he matches those up with your desires, right? And he gives you all good things. Go ahead and roll down. How are you doing? 
and then bring those arms down. Reposition yourself a little bit. And on this one, we're going to extend one leg out and keep the other leg bent. Bring the arms again, back over the head. Inhale to repair. Exhale, curl up and hold right there and lower down. Let me show you the progression. You're gonna roll all the way up and hold and then roll back down. Let's do that again. My word performs the purposes that I have sent it for, right? So as you speak the word of God, it goes out. Let's switch legs and modify right here and it accomplishes exactly what the Lord wants it to accomplish. Progression, come all the way up and hold, and then lower back down. Let's do that again. Don't be too hard on yourself. You just do what's best for you. Last one. All right, tabletop position, one leg up, the other leg joins it, hands come back behind the head. Take a deep inhale to repair, and exhale, come up and lower down. Modified, keep the feet on the mat. So you're in a tabletop position. You're feeling those core muscles. And the word says, come to me. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. All right, keep breathing. Modified position, feet on the mat. Again, just do the very best that you can do today. God is with us and he is helping us and he is strengthening us. Again, feeling those muscles through your core. One more time and lower down. Good job. Coming up next, we will continue strengthening our spirit, mind and body on Shaped by Faith. Go ahead and find neutral spine and extend one leg out. What we're gonna do is come up in a one-legged bridge, just extend the leg. Now, if this is too much on the spine, just go ahead and place both feet down and do a basic bridge, right? And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. We should all be sharing our testimonies with others. What God has done for you and how great the Lord is. I mean, just think about all the things God has already done for you and what he continues doing for you. Oh my goodness, as I look back, I think, Lord, you have done so much in my life to prepare me to do the things you have me doing right now. And he's done the same for you as well. Just recognize what he's done and share it with other people. Last one. Go ahead, extend your opposite leg out. Same thing, you're gonna go up in a bridge, roll up through your spine, lower back down. To modify, just place both feet down and go into a basic bridge position. The Lord is good. Isn't he so good? He's a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knows those who trust in him. See, God knows our hearts. He sees into our hearts. And as we ask him to examine us, he shows us what he sees through the lens of love, not condemnation, not shame, but just a father's love. All right, keep moving through the bridge. You're doing so good. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, lower back down. Feeling this all through that lower body. And one more. All right, on this next exercise, bring the legs up into a tabletop position. Place the hands back behind you and then curl up and lower down. To modify, keep both feet down on the mat. Just do the best you can do. I waited patiently for the Lord. You know, that's something we all need to be working on, especially me, waiting patiently for the Lord. And He heard my cry, and He heard my prayers, and He healed me. Isn't that true? As we wait patiently on God, we cry out to Him, he heals us. He always does. All right, keep moving through this. 
lifting and lowering. Last time, let's lower all the way down, extend the arms at your side. This is a tap down. So what you're gonna do, just one leg at a time, kind of like you're tapping that toe into the water. Just reach down there. All right, good job. Many, oh Lord, my God, are the wonders you have done for me. Again, reflecting back on what God has already done for you, how he has pulled you up out of that pit. Oh gosh, I was in a pit <laughs> for a lot of years in that muck and mire, just living on my own for my own selfish self until God reached down and then he pulled me up and he placed me on his solid ground. And I'm learning every day to love him more and more and more because he loves me so much and he loves you so much. Now on this one, place your feet down, realign your spine a little bit, extend those arms out and gently kind of drop those knees to one side and hold right there. Lord, you know all of my desires and my deepest longings, right? Bring those legs up. All right, let's go to the other side. Let's bring those knees over and hold. And then back up. Just continue. My tears are liquid words, and you could read them all. I love the way that's put. My tears are liquid words, and you read them all. And again, knee drop. Just bring those knees over. And then exhale back up. Let's do that again. Deep inhale, let's work on that deep breathing. This feels so good to stretch through the hips and glutes. And then back up. Go ahead, transition to the forearms. We're coming up to a seated position. So navel to the spine. Now you can choose to crisscross the legs. If this bothers you, just bring your legs out in front. So we're gonna go ahead and lift the arms up on this one. Just reach up and then lower down. Let's do that again. Inhale, extend through the spine, and then exhale down. Bring one arm up and lean over. I sought the Lord, switch out your arms, and he answered me. And he delivered me from all of my fears. See, fear is a big, big thing, and we need to recognize it for what it is. It's Satan's plan to distract us and get us off course. So recognize God and just say, God, I need your help here. Please deliver me from all of my fears. And then roll those shoulders back. Thank you for allowing me in your home today. I hope you're motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the best that you can be. As we continue exercising and praising God together, He will bless our bodies and hearts for His purposes. It is God who made us and breathed His Spirit in us so we can encourage others to live for Him. Until next time, friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you safe, healthy, and strong in your body, mind, and spirit. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith.